Welcome to the Fluke Calibration website. This tutorial is to let you know where you can create your own online RMA. From the Service and Support tab, please select Service Request RMA. It will open up a new page where you can enter your email address and password if you've already registered. If you have not, please fill out the I do not have an account process to create one. Once you log in, it will take you to your home screen where you can check the status on any order that you've previously created. If you're ready to process an order, please select service quote order. This is pre-entered information from your registration. Please verify it's accurate. You'll want to scroll down to the model selection of the item that you want to send in today. Today we're going to use a 5730 item. Please check with your technical contact to ensure that the item that you select in this list is accurate. Pricing does increase based on the options. Any pop-up notes, please take heed. We do require certain, uh, certain model information to process your order. Please enter your serial number and then navigate to the calibration selections. If you have any questions about the type of calibrations, you can take the link to our website with a specific explanation. This has three options offered. Calibrations E540 accredited or primary standards. Again, if you're not certain which one you need, please check with your technical contact. If your unit is working properly and it's just its yearly service, you can proceed onto the shipping instruction tab. If not, please select repair and navigate back to the problem description. This must be filled out and please enter as much information as possible. In the shipping instructions, you do have the option on this particular model to select the next on bench service, which pushes your unit to the front of the queue. If you desire any other option for shipping other than ground, please make the selection and enter your account number. Any specific information you need required on that, please submit in this field here. Next, we're going to navigate to the additional information field where you'll enter your asset number. This is assigned by your company. If you do not have one, please leave it blank. Any accessories that you intend to send, this particular item required a cable and load. It would be awesome to send it to um, indicate that it goes right here so that your shipper can know to stick it in the box with the equipment. Please verify the calibration certificate is accurate to print on your cert. If it's not for you, please enter your company information for the certificate. If you require a due date, please enter one from the drop-down list. If you do not require, please select no due date. Any special interval requirements should go here. End of month. Any additional information about the order that you feel we should know, please enter it here. Navigate down to the tax information. If you are exempt, please click the box, select your reason, and enter your certificate information. Next, you'll want to enter a payment information. If you do not have payment information ready, you don't have a credit card ready to enter, please select quote and request a credit application if you'd like to process this under terms. Continue to review the order that you've created to ensure accuracy. You may use this back button to go and correct any errors. If it is um, acceptable, please create your quote and the information will be sent to you via email with this in the subject line, your RMA number. Please remember that if you've created a quote to contact your local service department, the address and the phone number are on the top left of your confirmation. Call us ahead of time before the unit arrives with your payment, purchase order, credit card information, and we will be able to process it without delay. Thank you for your time.